Last time on What If Sonic, our time traveling hero Silver had intended to travel back to his future to question Mephilus. Instead, he arrived during the events of Sonic 06. In his brief time there, he had assisted Sonic in rescuing Elise from the Radical Train. He also met up with Shadow, and the two traveled back to the point where Solaris split up to learn more on the beings. With his knowledge in tow, and a new bond formed with Shadow, Silver arrived back to his future where he confronted Mephilus. Shadows of the Past What is Silver went back too far? Part 4 the rusty doors slammed open, and from them, Silver walked forward. After everything I've been through, I think I know what I'm doing. Blaze and Mephilus look over as if they've seen a ghost. Silver then walks forward with a serious look. S silver Why are you back? What happened? A lot, Blaze, but I've been through enough to know he's responsible for our future, not Sonic. Silver says this as he points towards Mephilus. Mephilus looks over briefly, shocked, before getting his composure back. I see the time stone is gone. Yep, it's in the hands of someone who will use it for the greater good. Now then, stop avoiding the topic, you monster. Silver, what are you saying? Silver puts his hand out as to tell her to stop talking. He then turns his gaze back to Mephilus. Mephilus lets out a malicious and evil laugh and looks towards Silver. Oh, the interest. You surprised me, Silver. I took you for someone too naive to figure out the truth. How ironic would it have been for you to cause the destruction of your world? Alas, that's not how things occurred. Too bad you're still nothing to me. You can't beat me, Silver. Mephilus inches back before a flash consumes him, and his crystallized form is revealed. He tenses up and Silver takes immediate notice. RUN! Silver immediately grabs Blaze's hand and boosts out of the room as it explodes with dark energy. The two jump out of the building and land on the broken streets below. Demonic purple creatures crawl out from the smoke as Mephilus walks up to overlook the streets. Silver and Blaze are getting their bearings when they're surrounded by these creatures. It's no use running, you fools. There's nothing you can do to win this. I'll show you mercy if you submit now. You'll die before everything is gone. Blaze, listen. I'll explain everything once we get somewhere safe. All right, Silver. But first, let's take care of these guys. Silver grabs the group of monsters with his psychokinesis and Blaze storms onto them. Drown in darkness! From the building crawls Mephilus' shadow demons, and they start to consume the area. Silver and Blaze attempt to fight them off, but they're getting overwhelmed. They run off throughout the city, but can't seem to escape from the onslaught. They can't hide, nor can they run. If they don't figure something out, they'll certainly perish here. They both know this all too well, so they think quickly. We can lose them if we head to Flame Core. Are you sure? The place is too erratic. They'll get lost for sure. All right, you scout out a path for us. I'll lead them away from you. The two nod to each other and get to work. Blaze jumps and runs far across the destroyed city as Silver boosts across the ruined streets in conjunction. They get within the outskirts of the city to where a large volcano overlooks the mountainsides. Blaze runs through tight corridors and wide areas making a maze-like path that Silver follows. They start to lose the shadowy creatures within the crevices and eventually lose them all when they arrive within a cave in the magma-filled mountains. The two catch their breath and then walk in the cave. Well, we're safe for now. We lost them. And now you're gonna tell me what in Gaia's name is going on. What happened when you went back in time? Alright, I'll try my best to explain. I overshot my destination. I met the blue hedgehog Mephilus needed us to kill. After spending time in the past, I realized he wasn't the Iblis Trigger. With the help of another guy named Shadow, we went back in time and learned the origins of Iblis. He and Mephilus are one and the same. What? Silver, why didn't you stay in the past and fix things? I did. Sorta. Well, I couldn't leave you behind. You're still so naive. But I have a plan. I know the means to destroy Iblis. We need the Chaos Emeralds. We can seal them away. What about Mephilus? Uh, we need some kind of scepter. We'll need to head to this old laboratory. All right, but first, let's get out of the cave. I think we've wandered a bit too deep. Oh yeah, let's get going. The duo walk through the beautiful yet haunting cave. Lava lakes and purple crystals house the caverns. Silence is the only thing consuming the place with an eerie aura topping it off. It's dark, only illuminated by the red of the lava and the purple of the crystals. The two wander the place for a while until they come into a large chamber. It's a lava lake with a small rock platform in the middle. A bridge connects them to it, and something catches their eyes. A diamond-shaped object with crimson lines around it. Inside is seemingly a person, and the both of them are caught off guard by this sight. 
They run over to it, and Silver's in complete shock. Inside this cage is Shadow the Hedgehog. Blaze notices the shock on his face and points it out. Silver? What's going on with you? Blaze, that Shadow guy I mentioned earlier. This is him! What? How? Why is he in a cage? I don't know, but what I do know is I'm going to get him out of there. With full force, Silver charges a psychic blast at the cage, and from the debris, it opens. Out drops our familiar hedgehog. He lays on his knees with his eyes closed for a second. He then darts his eyes open and locks into contact with Silver and Blaze. He backs off startled and seemingly with a pinch of stress. What? Who are you? What do you want? The two look surprised, and Blaze turns to Silver, confused. I thought you knew this guy. Well, another him, I guess. Timeline stuff. Silver looks nervous, but stands his forward as Shadow gets into a defensive position. Uh, hey, I'm Silver. This is my friend Blaze. We aren't gonna hurt you. <laughs> How long was I in there? Uh, it's been 200 years since it was released, if that helps. I was in there for 200 years? Listen. This is gonna sound weird, but I know you. Well, not you you, but like, another you, from a different timeline, if you could believe that. Silver, yeah, I can believe that. I've seen things. Uh, listen, I know what you can do. We need your help to take down Iblis and- Iblis? Shadow grabs his head and Silver and Blaze look back in shock. Silver? Is he okay? I don't know. Shadow, please snap out of it. We need your help to defeat Iblis and Mephilus. Mephilus? Uh, yeah? Shadow looks at his hands, but gets up calming himself. I'm sorry. I've just dealt with a lot. Iblis and Mephilus, you say? I've run into both once. They're formidable. I'll help you too. Sweet. We need to get the Chaos Emeralds. I'm pretty sure you'd have knowledge on them. Yes, I do. If you're trying to get all seven, we'll need at least one to track the others down. I can feel one faintly nearby. I think I know where it is, if you care to follow. Yeah. The group leaves the Flame Corps and heads back to Crisis City. On their way there, Silver and Blaze chat to themselves. Was he always this stressed? No. He was rather calm and collected. I wonder what happened to him. The trio finally arrives where the Chaos Emerald was. Shadow stops in his tracks and gestures them to stop. It's here. I can feel it. The three jump down onto a street where they see a broken robot laying down, rusheded and dead. It's E-123 Omega, looking worse for wear. While Silver and Blaze have no idea who this is, Shadow looks with horror and grabs his head as he gets repeating the same phrase whispering to himself. Shadow? Shadow, are you okay? Silver runs to Shadow's side, and as soon as it happens, Shadow snaps out of it and gets back up. Yeah, it, yeah I'm fine. He walks to Omega while Silver and Blaze look on uncomfortable. They quickly look on more normal when Shadow thrusts his hand through Omega and rips out a Chaos Emerald that shines bright green. Here we go. We can use this to find the rest of them. Alright. One step closer. Then we can finally save the world once and for all. Let's hope so. It's about time the fight was won. The two laugh on with determination. Shadow takes notice. He smiles seeing this. The hope of the future within the smiles of this duo, it gives him determination to finally save the world too. Alright. Step back. I'm going to use Chaos Control to get the energy signatures. Chaos Control? Oh yeah, you did that in the past, or other you. What can you do with that? Warp space time, conduct Chaos Energy, teleport, variety of things. You need to have a good control of Chaos Energy to do this though. Hmm, interesting. All right, stand back, we don't have forever. The duo steps back from Shadow as he focuses himself and erupts Chaos Energy onto the Emerald. He grips it tightly and then throws it overhead as it illuminates the streets. CHAOS CONTROL! The area is consumed by a bright flash and then fades back. Shadow looks back to the others as his eyes flash green for just a moment. So, were you able to get the locations? Vaguely. Tapping into the Chaos Force with one emerald isn't easy. The Chaos what's it? Never mind. So, where are the other emeralds? Let me plan it out for you. They're rather scattered, and since I'm the only one who can teleport, I'll give you both the closest ones. Blaze, you'll get the one within the northern mountainside, beyond the city. Silver, you'll get the one on the coastline of the continent. Just head straight east from here. There's one on the next continent and two within the special zone. I'll get those. Hopefully, we can get them in this ruined world. What about the sixth one? The last one was from Mephilus. We'll rendezvous here when we have the other five, and then hunt him down from there. Sounds like a plan. Silver, you ready? Yep. 
Let's do it to it. Silver, Blaze, good luck. You can get back here in one piece. They both nod and the group heads off. Shadow teleports away and Blaze runs and jumps across the city. Silver looks on before knowing what he has to do. He flies into the sky and boosts across the city as fast as he can. He makes it through the countryside and across the many lands. Before now, he never truly knew what these lands used to look like. They're scorched and destroyed with nearly nothing left. Browns and reds everywhere with a crimson dark sky always showing. A land of misery and destruction living in the shadow of once beautiful lands. Devastated by Iblis. But now he knows what they used to be and he's determined to restore it. After a while speeding across the lands, he makes it to another ruined city. At the coastline of the continent is Station Square. Much like Suliana, it's devastated and destroyed. Beyond the ruins is the sea with a large island. Silver recognizes this island as Angel Island, nearly sunken and ruined, yet almost untouched. Whilst well, just a hunch, he feels as if the emerald he's hunting for has to be there. So with nothing but his instinct, he boosts onto the crashed island. Parallel to this, Shadow would enter the special zone to search for two of the Chaos Emeralds, and Blaze would be running throughout the destroyed mountainsides of Soliana. As she gets farther, the elevation would get higher, and things would get much cooler. She finally makes it to the peaks of these mountains. Within the horizon is White Acropolis. Well, what's left of it? Around it, though, is Iblis. Just her luck. Iblis just happened to be raining his terror on White Acropolis at this time. With doubt, but determination... Blaze must traverse the dangerous area to get the Chaos Emerald. Back to Silver, he's flying towards the Fallen Angel Island. The place, while looking worse for wear, isn't completely destroyed. A depressing aura simply houses the area. The once luxurious forest is now charged, with the area only beginning to recover. The blue sky is now a dark gray. Normally, this wouldn't be so bad for him. But now, he's seen this place in its prime. He walked these same forests over 200 years ago. Why'd it have to be this way? Maybe I shouldn't have come back. What was I thinking? He slams his hand to the ground and grits his teeth in agony. Guilt consumes him almost completely before thinking of what he's learned. No. If I've learned anything, it's that I have to keep going. Alright, I have to get this Chaos Emerald. He searches for a while, admiring the familiar locales. He can tell each place so specifically. Where he fought Sonic, where Eggman approached him. He leaves the forest and searches deeper. He makes it to Mushroom Hill. Eventually, while searching, something catches his eye. A broken door to a chamber glows brightly. A faint light shines through the cracks, and Silver feels a sense of familiarity. He knocks down the door to see a warp ring, one just like the one he used when he first arrived in the past. Without second thought, he goes inside it and is warped to the hidden palace. Wait, this is the first place I saw when I first went to the past. It's not like everything else, though. It's almost the same. At least, Iblis didn't ravage everything. He admires the crystals that decorate the room. The architecture is simply brilliant, and still conveys the same aura he felt when he first went there. Except he feels like something is different. One thing. Besides that, he makes it to the central room where he gets pretty big deja vu. That mural. This is where I fought Sonic and Knuckles. If only I knew the truth then. At least things ended up okay. Me and Knuckles taking a stand against that robot. Never thought I'd reminisce over a fight like that. Something catches his eye. The pedestals that stand in the room, the central one, is completely empty. And the others are simply stone emeralds. Silver walks up to look at it. Unbeknownst to him, someone else is looking at it too. Hmm, could one of the chaos emeralds be in here? I can almost feel it, just seeing this. As he walks more to look around, something moves in the background, slowly. It inches closer and closer, before dashing at Silver tackling him. Ah! Get off me! Silver throws the figure off him, but it gets right back up and charges towards him. He dodges its attacks rapidly and pushes it back before trying to grab it with his psychokinesis. The figure releases a shield that negates the effects of it though. Silver's completely in shock before recognizing this. Wait! You're- Before he can finish his sentence, the figure dashes back at him with incredible speed. Silver can't avoid this, and he gets pummeled. He tries to force the figure off him, but it doesn't work. He gets pushed to the ground before Silver releases into a blue aura. The light then shines onto the figure. Mecha Sonic! Silver's correct, as on top of him is a rusted Mecha Sonic, adorned in a black cape with various parts, about ready to hit a fatal blow. And that's where we'll leave things for right now.
What will happen now that everyone is given obstacles in their way? Especially in Silver's case, with the returned Mecha Sonic, out for revenge. Silver, Blaze, and Shadow must get the Chaos Emeralds at all costs, even with the opposition. But how? And what's up with Shadow and his various breakdowns he's enduring? What happened to him prior to his ceiling to leave him like this? Find out next time on What If Sonic. Like and subscribe for more if you want to. And as always, thanks for watching.